This is the Ticks and Trades channel with Sam Morton. Welcome back to another Futures Trading Recap for Tuesday, November 26, 2024. The time is currently 8.30 a.m. Eastern. So after they closed yesterday, the post-market and overnight activity pushed price down to almost 595, and then they rallied from there. And now, at an hour before the opening bell, they're knocking on 599 again. So at face value, it seems that the bulls want to get at 600 again and possibly above it. A larger than average range in the overnight session doesn't guarantee that price will continue in the direction they've been going most of the night, which is up. But you can't ignore that at the moment, at least, they are poised to gap up at the open. Will the third attempt at SPY 600 work? Meaning, will we see significant closes above 600 today? Anything is possible, considering it's the next to last trading day of November this year before the Thanksgiving holiday. I would typically expect the market to slow down a bit. As a general rule, I don't usually trade anything the day before a holiday or say the Friday before a three-day weekend where the following Monday is a holiday. The odds are increased that unusual things will happen during days where volume is typically low. Price has a tendency to either move around a lot or not do anything at all. Considering where we are in terms of price and time, anything can happen today or tomorrow. We're still bullish in the big picture, but when a pullback happens, and it will happen eventually, it has the potential to be big. For today, I would trust the levels for reactions enough for a base hit or more, depending on how price comes into them, but also depending on the overall flavor of the market in general. I have plenty of work to do at the office today and tomorrow, so I do not plan to get into any trades, although I might as well just have my usual screen recording going in case something juicy happens. I'll make sure I have the settings correct this time, so there will be something to look at. Whatever happens today, I'll be back after the closing bell, and we'll talk about it. Catch you on the other side. It was a rather slow day, but they did work their way up to 600 and even closed above it. We'll look at the daily chart later and maybe another longer time frame of the SPY to see if there's anything worth mentioning. But I'll point out that the one official trade that was available today was right here. If you're playing by the rules with the levels provided this morning. Now, whether this level was adjusted or not, 599.52 or bring it down five cents toward price as they're coming up into it. It was after 945. If that's your short trade. Pretty straightforward. Four point base hit or more only took a couple minutes. After that short trade, you would not have attempted any more short trades at this level if they hit it again. That's according to the rules, just to keep things conservative. But as you can see, this level worked a couple more times. So you could have pulled another short trade if you were willing to chance it. We're just talking about what you would do played by the rules, and we're going to record that in the tracking log later. Once price got above this level and there was enough time, you want to trade it for a recycled trade. It would be 599.57, five cents toward price. They got within a few pennies. The low was 599.60, three pennies away, took off. So I'm not going to trust this again for another long trade, although once again, they found some support there and bounced and went higher. But once again, playing by the rules, just one official trade right here. We're not going to count this missed trade here because of a near miss. And then they got up to 601.36, 601.31. We're going to bring it down five cents. And they hit it. It would have been a nice, perfect trade. The high was 601.33, just a couple pennies, pulled down. Unfortunately, it was 3.52 p.m. Eastern. And you're not going to find me entering a trade that late in the day. I don't enter trades within 30 minutes of the closing bell. So while it did work, not going to count it, not official at least. So one official base hit in the morning, and that was it for the day. There's not a lot more to say about how the levels worked for today. But I do want to mention one thing before I jump into the daily chart and do a little forecast analysis. I recorded what the market did today, but I did not enter any trades. So I missed out on that early base hit. But that's okay. I had a lot going on and I found it helpful to step away from the charts every now and then. I think the day or so before major holidays is a good time to not trade. It might be a little safer in the long run. So I don't mind missing a trade here or there. But anyway, I figured I'd let this play while I mentioned one thing before we move on. I've noticed that if I have a better than average day trading the futures, and I have a recording of that live trade to share, the resulting recap videos tend to get more views and likes and subscribers than videos like this one, for example, where it's just going to be one simple four-point base hit. Like if I'm able to pull two or three grand from the market in a trade or a couple trades, the title of that video is going to reflect that. And not surprisingly, that tends to attract more viewers. But I want to reiterate that this approach to trading is about the base hits, the kinds of trades that might look mundane on the surface. Not every batter is going to hit a home run, you know that. So 
What they say, though, is the base hits that put you in the Hall of Fame. So if you're wowed by the big trades that have a lot of zeros behind the dollar sign, just remember that if you want to be consistent in trading the futures, you need a good process to follow and you need to stick to it. If you get just one trade like today, that's great. And if you don't get any trades at all, that's okay too. And if you strike out and give some points back to the market, that is definitely okay. That's what happens in trading. And in my experience, using this approach that I've been sharing with you guys for about a year now, about 20% of all the days during the trading year will end in the red. But I'm very happy with the 80% that end in the green. The tracking logs that we look at every day at the end of these recap videos should drive home the point that the key to success is about consistency. I'm happy to show you the play in by the rules log in a little while that will have just four points added for today. And the log of my personal trades will show zero points today because I just chose not to participate in the market, and that's okay. You shouldn't need to feel that you have to be in a trade at all times. Sometimes the best trade is no trade at all. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. The purpose of this channel isn't to prove that you can have huge blockbuster trades every single day. There will be about one out of every five days on average that you'll have a down day. That's the nature of trading. So I hope you guys are learning something at least about how to trade the futures by watching these videos. This is just one approach, and this strategy that I've developed has worked well for me for some time. And like any good strategy, it's rooted in being consistent and not deviating from the process and taking the good with the bad. I guess that's enough about that. So thanks for listening. As you can see, I just left the market alone today. But at least you had something interesting to look at while I rambled on. Here's the daily chart. I'm just pulling up a uh, trading view. Been using it a little bit just for analysis. It's a little easier to use in some cases. So the official close, 665, and they closed right below the high of yesterday, which was 686. You already saw what happened. They came up pennies of that level that we identified and pulled away. And in the pre-market, I think they're kind of, I can't see the pre-market in this, but I did see something on the, I think it was the three-hour chart. So just something I want to point out here. This is probably not a typical classic type of consolidation here, but when you have a larger candle like this, and there are other candles stair-stepping their way inside the body or the, the main area of this candle. And it depends on the time it takes for them to get to the high of this. Well, if they don't close, in this case, a three-hour candle above this, this is generally going to play out down. Now, I'm not saying it will because they've attempted 600 several times and it just now today closed above it. You know, just something I want to point out on the uh, three-hour chart. Back to the daily chart. I'm going to leave the market alone tomorrow just like I did today. Don't have anything conclusive of where they're at. Just brought up a 15 minute chart here, and this is just you know low volume, just kind of a grinding higher type of move, and typically the path of least resistance in a slow, low volume day or market is up. So you know, they could just continue to do this tomorrow, and I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, I'm not planning to trade, but I'll run some numbers in the morning. Definitely have some above here if they keep going, and if they pull back, we'll try to find some areas that could catch price. But at this point, they're still bullish. There's no way to refute that fact. Here are the logs. The first one is the PBR playing by the rules. One base hit at level five here, 599.52. You can read the notes if you want. Then nothing here, but just going to show it to you so you can see where we land on the averages and totals. And since tomorrow is the end of the week, I know it's only Wednesday, but it's the end of official end of this week as far as trades go and the end of the month, I'll filter out some of these dates so we can look and see how the month ended, the week ended, and where we are so far in the year. Because what you see here is everything from the beginning of 2022 through today. That would be the totals of all these averages, the total rate of return, and so forth. Back on this log, playing by the rules where every level is treated the same. And then back, and then on my trades. So just cycle back and forth if you want to take another look at those. So that's a wrap for today. I hope you found some value in what I provided and went on a little soapbox just to point out that... Uh, not always getting a ton of views and interest, but I do appreciate you guys liking the videos that do come through and commenting or asking questions if you have any. I'm happy to answer them about this strategy. I'm not going to get too much into the rules or the details of it because that is outlined in the course, which is very nearly finished at this point. So one more day in the week, I'll be back in the morning with new levels and a game plan, and we'll do this again. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your day.